It's been nearly three months since our shipping container was precariously delivered to our land. And in today's big reveal, it's finally time we move all of our essentials in. But what we find might make you want to boogie I'm on over that. I'm going on a boogie boarding holiday. Looks like your bag's packed and <laughs> boards in hand. Yeah, I got my gardening gloves and everything. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new around here, we're Brittany and Drew, two hopeful adventurers who got married, moved into a van, and have been chasing adventures all around the globe ever since. And now, after moving from the USA to Portugal, we'll be documenting our entire journey of building our dreams as we transform a historic water mill into our first home, not on wheels. Join us as we embark on this new and exciting phase of life. Now, Let's take in a deep breath and let it out. Let the adventure begin. This way. Wow, all the things that will be moving into the container. Hopefully. Got all our tools over here even. I hope it all fits. The hope is that with all these things removed, the water mill will be that much more prepared for the works to begin. It's been a long time coming. I know. We know you guys have been dying for us to start on this project just as much as we're feeling it because we are here every single day looking at it. But building or renovating a ruin in Portugal requires, I mean, quite time. a few things. Yeah. Time. But I would say the first thing, even before time, is patience. I think we've done a lot of great stuff. If you guys are new and haven't watched the six month time lapse video, that'll catch you up to speed. We focused a lot around the mill. I'd have to say that that's the most important part. We're lucky that we have our camper van, which yeah. allows us the freedom to focus on the exterior while we still have a cozy, although quite cramped living space. Our day will come and our kitties can't wait to live in here too. It's our first time in the mill. <laughs> You like it in here? <laughs> and then here we have our big drainage hole. You gotta get those little feet unlocked off that. We're only gonna get a little bit heavier. But you know, the other night I spent time cutting all the ridges. There's angles. Oh no. On each one of oh, them. The squeak. <laughs> I know yeah. our audience loves the squeak. No. <laughs> but something that I do love are these corners. Do you see these final touches that he put here? He really sealed it all in super nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. Quality. That's what I spent the other night working hard for. Those fell out of that spot, but I'll spray foam the entire door and then seal it with a piece of wood. That along with installing the padlock so that this ultimate container workshop conversion can also be extremely secure. That is one heavy duty lockbox. Feel good about that. Holy smokes. Good thing they got English on here. That's pretty crazy to drill right through a container. You definitely don't wanna mess this step up. Now it's time for the big drill bit. Let's hope everything aligns. I'm 
gonna make sure to apply and use a little bit of oil as I'm drilling into the steel. This isn't the proper machine oil, but it's motor oil. It'll lube it up and do the job. like a spy hole. That's some heavy duty stuff. All right, just like this. Put the U-lock into the lock, spin it, take out the key, and that thing is solid with the rock lock. When we originally started working on this container, a lot of you guys said you should get a heftier lock, something that has a steel case around it. So we took your advice. Thank you for saying that in the comments. This paired with a couple video cameras around our property, this will definitely do the job and keep our things protected. And especially feel good when we're out and about, when we're away. I saw one of the cats go in the truck. Is there a kitty in the truck? Baby, what do you find in there? <laughs> you wanna take the truck out for a ride? <laughs> You're so brave though. I love that you did that. That's pretty cool. She hopped right in. I think there's so much for them to explore around here. And it's so peaceful. It's really great. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. He's so fuzzy. Oh, I think the kitties are hungry too. Are you guys ready for a snack? Yes. <laughs> they love this cork tree. And they love playing with each other. They're so entertaining, you guys. Oh, babe. Just finished up the lock. Oh, exciting. Boom. Wow. Those are some serious bolts. There's some big nuts right there. Oh. <laughs> we gotta get some welds on those eventually. Get everything swept out so we can get organizing. Look who came to visit. Mimi. <gasps> Giving her a snack. Yeah, rewarding her for coming to visit. <laughs> you like it down here? Just coming to scope it out. What do you think of the container? Oh, they're going under. <laughs> Come here, little pirate. Come here, little pirate. It's not snacks. I only have love. I just have love. I forgot to give you your orange. Oh, dear. <laughs> so good. That's the spirit. I come bearing more gifts. Pretty sure the kitties are having a blast playing in the rain hole. <laughs> Are you playing? <laughs> Gotta make sure this door is nice and insulated because the sun is just gonna be pounding on it from the south. Wow, and you'll just stick it on there and it'll dry pretty quickly? Yep. But we're also gonna build a big overhang on this entire container. We have some really cool ideas. We were inspired by Project Camp. They welded a big metal frame that has an awning over top of it. So probably hang that direction. Maybe we can even use it as a car covering as well as this direction right here. That way it keeps the sun in the mornings, midday from just beating into the container itself. A car covering meaning like we would park our camper or the truck? Maybe the truck at some point. When I'm hanging out in my man cave and don't want my truck to get baked by the sun. We also had a sweet couple in Italy who used to travel all around Indonesia and had a place in Fiji who sent us pictures of their container. So we really appreciate the inspiration and just pitching in ideas. <laughs> Kitty seemed to like it too. <laughs> They're super curious. 
<laughs> yeah, I've never seen him hang out down here like this. I know. While Drew gets everything ready so that we can finish insulating the doors of the container, I'm going to open this box that we got from a friend who is a friend of one of Drew's best friends who used to work at GoPro together. And basically he started a really cool outdoor company called Campo Libre. And we're excited to see what is in here. Oh, wow. Hey, Drew and Brittany, thanks again for letting us be a part of your journey. This is your first date with Campo Libre, and we are curious to hear how it all works out. Cheers, Marcus. Well, thank you, Marcus. And this company is so inspiring. This is not sponsored, but we highly recommend you check out their gear. Wow. You can carry me in here. Whoa. Oh, the possibilities. <laughs> Look at this open wow that's amazing look at the quality of their stuff oh my gosh i think i'm most excited about the most beautiful french press well done friends we so needed a replacement this will be helpful even in the container can we go hang it up in the center right now because i could use the light yeah we can do whatever you want let's put it right up top <laughs> i love it it's like the star on top of the christmas tree <laughs> the container is now empty and ready for the walls to be varnished because in our past episode we only painted the plywood that's on the ceiling the walls all still need done you did such a good job spray foaming i was having fun like going up and down like connecting the top and bottom with the adhesive foam wow look at this this one looks really good it's like <laughs> icing on a cake kind of making me hungry <laughs> and that floor needs swept I think I would have learned to wear a different jacket, but might as well stick with the same one. <laughs> I think everyone else would be pleased to see you in that same jacket too. <laughs> I'm also wearing the hoodie just because I don't want to get resin in my hair. <laughs> it's not freezing. Can you reach the ceiling? No. How high can you reach? Okay, right there's your line. All the way around. I'll do the rest. <laughs> While Drew finishes up in the container for the night and I get started on dinner, I want to take a quick minute and tell you about the sponsor of today's episode, Delete Me, who we use and trust to protect our personal information from being sold online by data brokers, preventing things like identity theft and cyber stalking. With Delete Me's privacy experts, our personal information like our phone number, email, addresses, even the personal information of our family members gets removed from hundreds of search results. You can see right here that our first privacy report shows that a total of 1,534 total listings were reviewed and Drew's data was removed from 69 websites. We love how easy the reports make it to see how much information was found, where it was found, and where it was removed from. And Delete Me updates their product and adds features so that as the data broker industry expands, our personal information stays safe no matter what. And right now, you can save 20% off of Delete Me's consumer plans by using our code adventure20 and our link below. You and we will sleep that much better knowing that our personal information is being safely protected and monitored. <sighs> Isn't that right, Tom? Isn't that right? <laughs> Are you special? <laughs> so special. You like it in here? Are you purring? Are you purring? <laughs> what are you looking for? Tom, what's she doing? What's she doing? <gasps> it's okay. Well, that was a very adventurous night. Oh, there goes baby. Good night, you two. Also, they love our little cork tree. Which, we hope <laughs> the tree's okay, but 
I mean, luckily they regenerate their skin. So, and the kitties will climb like all the way up. It's wild. I see you. Good morning, kitties. Hi. <laughs> Still, nobody sleeps in the cat house, but you're happy cats. You're so happy. And that's the shelf we're gonna be building. The idea is to put one on this side and the other right here. The dimensions of the container width wise are 220 centimeters. So that's like seven and a half feet. I know doing all the insulation and wood on the walls with the framing, we lost a little bit of space, probably about three inches on each side, but I definitely feel way more happy having it insulated thoroughly. some lunch. Alright, coming right up. I'll be right down. Incoming. Uh, <laughs> <thank you>. Meep, <laughs> meep. <laughs> oh, the shelves look nice. They're coming together. Yeah. It's close. The second one will be way quicker. That's how it works, right? Oh, and the paint all dried in here. It looks great. Do you guys see what I see? It's stuck. It's the spray foam and I... Oh. It's so little. It was like stuck on you from last night. <laughs> I don't blame it. Earlier this morning, Drew and I were talking about you guys and how truly special it is to have a global community because when people ask us, you know, don't you ever get homesick or don't you feel so far away from your friends and family? And we're like, you know what? To be honest, because we are able to share our lives with you and our friends and family all around the world, we sort of feel like we're everywhere. We feel like our family is always up to date with what we're doing, what we're creating here on our land, <laughs> whatever he's doing in there. And so we just wanna thank you guys for help making our dreams possible, for being such a fun and supportive part of this journey. So thank you. We love you and we hope that you will be surrounded by love and loved ones this holiday season because we sure will be. The community here has already invited us to Christmas Eve dinner, Christmas Day dinner. We have New Year's Eve and New Year's Day events. So we're feeling very much at home here. These are the instructions we've been following and they're not quite the easiest to follow. It's been taking a little bit longer. You kind of got to analyze all the diagrams to figure it out. But you know it would have been even longer. Probably would have taken us forever because we are not pros at this. We are very much beginners. We are amateurs. Just about everything that we do on this land. But if it wasn't for already like having prefabbed shelves. I think we would have been here for another two weeks trying to figure this stuff out. Like, There's so many cuts and little things to put together. There are. And when it comes to working with wood, it's not just cutting it, but then you have to sand it and blah, blah, blah. So I think you're just appreciating handyman work and what wood crafters do. Anybody who's had custom cabinetry made or yeah. dressers, just anything in their house, anybody who does that, it's a skill of its own. Like it's not to be underestimated. So many box retailers have kits that you can put together now, which aren't always the easiest to follow, but They're there is an appreciation for homemade stuff. An efficiency, because we got a lot of things to do and not a lot of time, especially before the holidays. We sometimes get behind on our videos, so we're trying to keep up here, guys. It's a lot to handle. We appreciate you guys for watching. And thank you to our patrons. We share behind the scenes with our patrons and you guys are the best. You all know it. And we're always on top of those comments, those messages there. I also want to say that if it wasn't for you guys, we would be able to procrastinate a lot longer on certain projects. But because we want to finish certain things for certain videos, you guys really keep us on our toes. Like literally, I have to get on my toes to put this up here. <laughs> I think I got it. Can 
and she do it. The first plank. You were <sighs> supposed to leave the top shelf for me. <sighs> I thought I'd do the hardest one first. Get it over with. One more board to go. Oh, I think I, I did get it. You got it. It's in. Sorry, I was... Let me help you with that next board. Okay. Babe, you making it? Barely. <laughs> At least we're working smarter and not harder. Well, she's working pretty hard back here. We have hooked up the trailer to the truck and we're moving all the things from inside the upper portion of the house over to our storage unit, our garage, our workshop area, because it's time to get everything in there and out of the house. Are you headed to the beach? I'm over this. I'm going on a boogie boarding holiday. It looks like your bag's packed and <laughs> board's in hand. Yeah, I got my gardening gloves and everything. You going to Nazare to catch the big waves? <laughs> yeah. Surf's up. Bra. Yeah. Very carefully. Do you guys remember what it was like moving everything up and into here? Now it's like we could just hit the rewind button. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice, but... We can watch it all disappear. Look at that. I'd say we did a pretty good job. So I just pulled the box that was right in this position here. You see that? Look at all that damp wetness and mold. Brittany, you gotta see this. Wow. Look at the bottom of that box. Oh my. Oh my gosh. That's how we know we have to have good heating. Or airflow, you know what I mean? This corner must have a ton of moisture or the cement's just holding it in. Heated floors will help solve that issue. I wonder if it's on this box too. Oh, you know what else I'm taking with me on my boogie boarding trip? <laughs> the kite surfing board. Why not? Why not? Maybe the wind will be good. See you later, my surf babe. <laughs> gonna go catch a few in the container. Whoa. Look at this. This box too. Just caked in mold. Lucky for us, moving into the container, by having it so insulated without materials that can get moldy, plus we're gonna install a vent, hopefully that does not happen. I feel like anywhere there's cement, moisture, because there is soil just on the back side of this wall in the cavity that we're gonna be working on. So I really am hoping that where we're moving this stuff to, we don't have to worry about this. Cardboard's definitely gotta get pitched. Definitely something I think about when doing our flooring. Well, the trailer's full and we're kind of looking like the Beverly Hillbillies. We are. Let's move. And just like that, we've moved a whole 150 feet. I have a feeling this container is gonna fill up real fast. Oh, no. Mayday. We gotta change the height of our shelving. Luckily, it's pretty easy. It is actually pretty easy. I wasn't sure what it would be like. If we had made the most. Oops. I think we spoke too soon. The final load for the night. <sighs> we'll be leaving some of these larger items in here. But look at that. I'd say we did a pretty good job. Well, there's the storage unit portion. What about the workshop? We need some features. <laughs> It'll come with time. That'll be the front of house. And maybe we'll have to like hang a curtain, build some type of wall to separate that section so that it doesn't get all dusty. And you can saw and hammer away up here. Job well done. You should be very proud of yourself. Pretty cool. Cheers.
clink. Good night, guys. We'll see you in the next one.